So you want to learn how to choose a perfect juicy watermelon. Well, I'm going to show you how. So the first thing I do when I'm stalking my herd of watermelon is I'm going to go around and just take a brief overview of the watermelons because I know what I'm looking for. All right, I'm looking for three things that'll tell me whether the watermelon is going to be ripe and juicy. All right, so the first thing I'm going to look for is a yellow spot. Most watermelons have some sort of discoloration. They can be brown or green, but look at that. See, it's yellow. So I'm looking for a nice yellow spot. Oh, there's one. All right, so that's got a nice yellow spot on it. So I'm going to dig that guy out. And the second thing I'm going to look for is the belly button. Okay, now, here we go. I'm going to spin it around. Notice how that's brown. I want a brown belly button. If you find one that has like a green belly button, that means that it was picked too early, okay? You want to get one with a brown belly button and that tells you that it was picked when it was nice and ripe. Here, let me show you. Here's a perfect example. See this one? It's got a green belly button. That means that it was picked too early. So even though it's got a nice uh, yellow spot, I'm not going to pick that one. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for a watermelon. There we go. Another green one. No good. All right, you want three things. You want the yellow spot, you want a brown belly button, and the last thing that I'm going to show you is the sound that it makes when you tap it. It should be a nice hollow sound. That sound tells you that it's nice and full of water. Okay, It's almost like uh, if you were tapping on a barrel full of water, that's the same kind of sound that you should look for. So this uh, three-step method works with any kind of watermelon. Like these little guys here, same thing. You're looking for that nice yellow spot. And then if you were to turn it over, you see that it has a nice brown belly button. Okay, so it wasn't picked too early. And then, of course, you got to give it a little tap. And if it makes that good hollow sound, then you know that it's juicy on the inside. Now these here are one of my favorite kind. These are the sugar baby watermelons. Okay, that's kind of green and it's got these big bright yellow spots. You can't possibly miss it with a sugar baby. You turn that over, nice brown belly button, and then after that you just give it a tap. Okay, tapa tapa tapa, and it's all good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this one home. All right, so you have your watermelon now. This is a sugar baby watermelon, and I like this one a lot because the color outside is really dark, and then it's got these really noticeable uh, yellow spots, so I chose the sugar baby watermelon just because it makes a really good example and also because they are juicy and sweet. Alright so you have your watermelon, you got your yellow spot, you got your little brown belly button and when you tap it it's got that really full of water sound. Almost like a barrel full of water sound. Alright so now we have the top and the bottom. Alright so now you grab your knife and just remember to make your life easy, your knife should be way longer than your watermelon is wide. Okay, so if your knife is only like this long, it's going to make it harder to cut a watermelon. Alright, so make sure you get a nice long knife. Alright, so I'm going to cut off the front of the watermelon, spin it around. I'm going to cut the bottom off of it. Look at that. Look how beautiful that watermelon is. So now you can stand it up and then you're gonna make a cut along the side just like that sort of curved all right now you can see the rind versus the inside of the watermelon and so you're just basically gonna cut slices along that rind so you're just gonna shave off the rind okay and spin it so you can always see that rind. Okay, just like that. Little piece of rind. Okay, now you want to flip it upside down and you can shave off any pieces of rind that you missed. Alright, so now you end up with zero rind and nothing but the good stuff. Alright, so you want to cut it in half now. Ok, 
Okay. One, two. And this is just simple geometry now. All right. I want cubes, so I'm gonna make slits along here. See? Look at that, you have nice cubes. All right, and just pick them up with your knife and put them in your bowl. Just like that. And now you have a beautiful bowl of juicy watermelon chunks. Now the best part is tasting this. Wow, so refreshing, so juicy, and so sweet because we followed the three rules. It's got the bop bop sound, it's got the brown belly button, and it's got that nice yellow sunspot on it. Hey, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you'd like to help me grow my channel, please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. The more likes and the more subscribers I have, the faster this channel will grow and the more time I'll be able to spend making videos for you. Until next time, this is Christian saying happy watermeloning to you.